Now, if you're dealing with the black race, you're dealing with power. Power has to be consistent. It's a consistent electrical surge, elect, uh, electrical charge that keeps flowing. And then once the, the flow is cut off, then you get cut off from power. The elect, the electrons, the electrodes. So I had to do this video because, man, the, you know, what's so funny, man, the black race, they funny. They funny because the beast done pushed all this shit. The beast done pushed all this shit inside the minds of the mass majority of black people and wonder why they're still going through what they go through. The reason why they're going through what they go through is because they still depend on the beast. They still depend on mankind. Always giving them props when they do something nice. How you going to give somebody props when they do something um, sophisticated, artistic? You're giving them props because you're trying to keep it real. That's going to be the downfall of the black race. Keeping it real. Keeping it real is the downfall of the so-called black race. You know why they got you know why they say that It's because the beast embedded in their head to say it. Oh, I got to keep it real. I, you know, you know, uh, this is what I do. I just got to keep it real because, you know, keeping it real, you know, that, that I'm real, this and that. But all you're doing is pushing their agenda. That's all you're doing. Pushing their black, demented state agenda. Because the word black has been orchestrated. That shit ain't no damn, um, no damn community. See, the thing about real communities, when you're dealing with the other communities and you see them, you know, the Somalians, the Mexicans, um, Polish, Irish, you know, they come down because they got a leader and they got a chain of command. Black race, they, they don't want to do that. They still want to be savages and chaos and confusion and be all about they self. Because when I hear somebody talk, this is the thing about being activated. When you hear somebody talk and they keep saying I and me, I, me, I, me, and you, you ain't in the future. You're going to fade away to nothing, to blackness, because you want to be black. So that's what you're going to be. You're going to be in the black matter and not going to be triggered by any plasma or solar form. And the reason why I keep talking about this is because I see people on the Internet right now that's, that's teachers. They're not talking about black no more. They might bring it up, you know, here and there because you've been brainwashed since you came out the wound of your mother to think that you was black. You've never been black. Other races don't even take black people serious. They don't. Anybody wants to argue with me on that, they don't take black people serious. They might be your friend, might want to lay with some of your women that you got around you, so they're going to, you know, act like everything's culture, everything is, you know, this is the way it's going to be, but no, it's not. And that's the thing about the black race, man, they got a mental transmitted disease. That's what they got. A mental transmitted disease. They just always got to be accepted by somebody that doesn't have their same genetics. And I was on social media. They got this um, this Caucasian this Caucasian guy. You know, he's rapping on these beats. He, he you know he's tight with the lyrics, but then you got these niggas. On the side, like, at, like, apping them up, like, oh, he's tight, this and that. See, that's what they want you to do. That's exactly what they want you to do. Amp that shit up. Because when you're dealing with um, the hip-hop right now, dealing with the rap game, the hip-hop, that's, dem that's um, a, 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 a form of a demented state. It's a, it's a demonic sound wave, a demonic frequency. Always rapping about killing somebody that has the same genetics as you. How is somebody going to look up to you? Think, you think in the future, the future ones? See, that's the thing about um, the activated ones and the ones that's back on the planet. A lot of you Negroes in the future, 
And I don't care who don't like this shit. I don't care who who don't like this shit. A lot of you Negroes in the future, you're going to go to court. It's going to be a whole different court system, but it's going to be more intense. This court system is going to be more intense. They're going to be this this future the future court system is going to be judging the mind for real. Also, you've been pumping this poison to the children and telling them to run the streets and, and pack guns and, and sell drugs and not want to be a um a stand up citizen that wants to be, you know, productive, a nurse, a doctor, firefighter, police officer. Yeah, a lot of you niggas is going to get. A sentence just from that. It's going to be a new law and structure and order going on this planet. Because we ain't playing. With the demented state of the ones that understand. And there's always a victim stance. Oh, well, we don't we don't put the guns in the neighborhood. We don't um, we don't uh, own no airplanes. We don't own no trains, so this and that. So that just gives you verification, right? Justification. Just go ahead and make your neighborhood a savage. And you got a choice. And these niggas that's out here, they slowing up the process. Like my mentor said, you niggas is slowing up the process. So when the new or the next court system is established, it's going to move the planet even further faster than what it is right now people don't want the planet to move uh, fast because they they like the way it is right now this is the future jerry oh so you've been pumping all that uh that poison and that mental de uh demented state to the children oh that's gonna be a sentence like freedom of speech yeah you're gonna have freedom of speech to, to say what you ever wh whatever you want to say but this is going to be the next court system. And who's going to run that? That's how you fell from power. That's how the black race fell from power. They fell from power because they started doing this on this picture. They started praying. They started meditating. They stopped worrying about what's going on on, on the planet. This I'm talking about Egypt. They started um, messing with other races. The thing about messing with the other races was... Like, if you mess with another race, you're not supposed to tell them no secrets, right? You're not supposed to mix your seeds with them. You're not supposed to do none of that. That's why Egypt failed, because they were doing that. They were thinking that they, that was their people, and all they were doing was gathering recon. That's it. You got the cave beast woman coming down from the mountains and then she has two or three children with you just to gather recon. That was her sacrifice to see your kingdom fall, to see your uh, society fall. That was her sacrifice. She sacrificed her wound to see you fall. That's that's what that was about in Egypt. And then what happened? They pushed. They reversed everything. The stuff that we taught them to believe in, astrology, gods, they flipped it and now you believe in Jesus Christ or you believe in uh, um, Islam or you believe in tarot cards. Some damn cards going to tell you your future. See, that's that's how how messed up the black race mind is. They everywhere. They everywhere on the damn planet. Over here, they doing tarot cards. They doing meditation. They doing as the world still being ran and still being in order a little bit, somewhat. Because they all about self. That's why I got this picture right here, because you see these brothers right here, these brother, this, these brothers and this sister right here, what they're doing, they're praying. Praying for what? You need to be moving in action. 
Ain't no damn praying, man. You need to be moving, moving forward. If you don't know how to move, you need to get behind somebody that does. Simple as that. And if you don't, then you're going to perish away with the beast. That's what that's about. Talking about some, uh, talking about some, oh yeah, this, you know, they, 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 and soon as somebody brings that, brings up, um, any other race or any other nation, and I'm like, they're just so damn gone. They're gone. That's how far they're gone. I want to sit down and pray and meditate. Meditate for what? You want to sit down and meditate. You need to be writing a book or pulling people together or something. You sitting there meditating. Yeah, I have to make sure that my house is up to par and everything. Da -da -da -da, while the world's just still the way it is because nobody wants to link up and hook together. But that's fine because the majority of the black race ain't going to do that. That's why the separation is a must, just like how the Jews did it. They separated from the damn Caucasians. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to separate from the blacks. It's a must. It has to happen. You done had your head bowed down for 15 minutes. You done lost 15 minutes of your time sitting there praying on some spook God that's never going to show his face or show his energy. But what you? why is that? Because you have a belief system. That's why the black race fell in Egypt. They started to pray. They started to, they didn't put their, they didn't put their minds together at one point. That's how they failed. That's the reason why they failed. The mental state aspect of what they was doing was coming to, uh, come, it was devolved, was, um, devolving. That's why I'm seeing on the internet, man, dealing with these, uh, social media websites and you got, you know, even the, the hardest so-called thug game banger as negroes they just still want to support some shit soon as the soon as soon as mankind the beast do some shit and it's it moves you emotionally you want to support that you know why because you still got the mark of the beast on you because that's who your motherfucking boss is and your god the goddamn beast i don't care how tough you are how big you are um how many guys you got rolling with you that shit ain't gonna matter in the future that shit, shit, that shit don't matter right now. Shit don't matter right now. Because you still work for the beast. That's who you got is. You got to do all these thugs and these gangbangers out here selling all these drugs and doing that shit. Do your thing, but know who your boss is. Your boss is the beast. So how can I take you serious? The only one, I need be, the, the, the only one you need to be pimped by is the IRS. That's it. If you ain't being pimped by the IRS... Then you got another boss besides the IRS, nigga. You a slave. You a goddamn coon ass nigga. Care about no education or none of that. It's raw and uncut. Niggas all in my inbox and shit, all emotional and shit, acting like, you know why they emotional in my inbox? This is why they emotional, because they've been raised by their mom. And you know how women are. Women can be emotional because they're a little bit more emotional than men. So when you're raised by your mother, that shit rubs off on you. And now you're getting emotional over some dumb shit that, that you could have been, been avoided. And now you're doing 10 years, 15 years because you was an emotional. You had that emotional female bitch mentality. And that's what, and that's what, and, that, and that's the, 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 the mindset of the situations that's going on right now. Dealing with monkey see, monkey do. Shout out to mankind, man. Shout out to the beast, man. Y'all putting in, y'all doing a real good job. You got to give credit where credit's due. The diversion factor, the uh, deflection factor, diversion factor. But that's why they're not in power no more. That's why the black race ain't in power no more. They're bowing their heads. They're looking for 
somebody to save them. They're looking to be accepted. For what? Why? Really think about that. Why would you want to be accepted? Come storming in your neighborhood, setting up. You got the uh, East Indians, you got the Arabs, you got the Africans, you got all these people in your communities. And one thing is the fear of losing comfort. There's always going to be somebody next after them. But it's not going to happen because the mind frame, the mental status of what's going on is not going to evolve a neighborhood on that level. That's why you have to separate. Separation is a must. And yeah, I'm going to be on the internet looking. There's going to always be somebody, some, some Negro just sitting there supporting something because they're emotionally intrigued by it because it was raised by their mother or their father. But then they might have took heed more to their mother or they might have took heed more to their father. But then you can see the emotional rants that they project out. Don't know how to control it. So that's the reason why the so-called black race fell from power. They wasn't worthy of it no more. It's the activated one, new bright to the future peace, quasar.